Well, as some of you may know, Morgan is now 100 years old. And last year in 2009, during our centenary year, the company were very pleased to make just under 700 cars, which is slightly more than we made in 2008. I'm not sure there are any other car manufacturers here today that can say that they made more cars in 2009 than they did in 2008. But 2010 is obviously the start of our next century at Morgan. So what do we stand for in 2010? Well, the first thing I think is that Morgan stands for the driving experience. Somebody said to me today, uh, Morgan is all about having fun, isn't it? And I think that's right, but it's more than that. It's about making sure that when you drive a car, you really feel part of the machine. If you like, it's a skill that you actually participate in. It used to be called driving by the seat of your pants. And I think that's a very good expression. But these days, I suppose, you would say it's the same thing as having a favorite mountain bike, perhaps a favorite pair of running shoes that are exactly the right weight for the job. They're exactly shrink around you, and you can do great things with them. We have three cars here, all Morgan Roadster Sports. What that means is that we have fine-tuned them, if you like, for the 2010 era. They're neater, they're more minimalist, they're actually lighter, and they are, of course, powered by a Ford 3-litre V6 engine. So 230 horsepower in 920 kilos. Do the maths and you find out that they're quite a fast car. Over here, we have the Morgan Aero Super Sports, the latest generation of luxury sports cars from Morgan. Five litre V8 engines from BMW. The latest very fast changing ZF six speed fully automatic box, which in sport mode makes the car a lot faster than a car with a normal gearbox. And yet in sport mode again, you can drive it just like you do a racing car, sequential box, no clutch obviously, on the throttle all the time, foot flat. Of course this car is the car that was competing last year in the FIA European GT3 series and famously got pole position and won both first rounds at Silverstone. I think you can see from looking at these cars that there's some real genuine design talent going on at Morgan at the moment. And I would like to pay tribute to Matthew Humphreys, one of the great car designers of today and the future, who's with us at Morgan full time, and his assistant, John Wells, who's the best man on a computer program in Alias that I know, anyway. Thank you very much.